what's up everybody okay so for today's video um i'm doing a audi haul i just came back from the store i'm tired i'm out of breath i'm hot all the above yeah um anyway so like i said i went to audi's today um today is my first day off of working like four days and having a paycheck to myself or whatever because that's a totally different thing between having an off day and a paycheck to yourself okay so yeah it was a pretty decent check to be yeah anyway um so yeah i got a lot of frozen stuff or whatever a lot of stuff wasn't really on my list the only thing that was really on my list was this milk right here which was a dollar 98 um or dollar 89 one or two it was a, it was less than two dollars okay anybody that lives in like a non-expensive state like california or new york y'all know how much our milk is it's like a dollar 98 if y'all lucky somewhere around there anyway yeah the only thing that was on my list was the milk and the cheese back here these cheeses right here these cheese slices were 99 cents and this isn't the like processed cheese imitation food bullshit i used to buy that stuff or whatever trying to save money and yeah it just it's like plastic like flavored colored plastic like yeah i I was buying that stuff for a long time or whatever until I started learning my cheeses and like ingredients and stuff like that. And this is really good stuff. Um, I have, well, I had some in the free refrigerator earlier. Um, I think this is the cheese that I bought last time because it was actually the same price, if not more. It's only like a dollar forty nine when it's not ninety nine cent. It just happened to be ninety nine cent or whatever this time. But like I said, normally it's only like a dollar forty nine or whatever. I wouldn't even mind paying what 199 maybe 229 or whatever for this because like i said it's really good um i guess these it's just the equivalent of craft cheese and to be honest with you i really don't see any difference between this and craft cheese i honestly don't like the ingredients aren't all that long or whatever um and all these has really good quality stuff they try to strive to make their stuff um you know like artificial color free artificial flavor free just you know close to good quality high quality as possible for a good price you know what i mean and that's why i went shopping there today at audi's um i do work at save a lot for those of y'all that don't know but yeah i work at save a lot and i do see some differences um or whatever i don't always get to audi's because i'm always at work and so it's just more convenient to buy stuff at work or when i'm you know i'm there because i'm there like between 30 and 40 hours a week mostly 30 anyway so back to the haul yeah that's i got the cheese that's really the only thing that was on my list was the milk and the cheese the eggs was a really good price even though i have like a half a dozen eggs in the refrigerator and i don't eat them except when i'm cooking or when i'm like making breakfast maybe once or twice a week other than that yeah like i said they were a good price they were 49 cents 49 cents they're normally like maybe even cheaper they're still like 69 cents or whatever um my job has them for a 99 cent which is a good thing because they were high for a minute there like if y'all remember um depending on where you live at around easter time last year or this year it was like what two something or whatever for a dozen eggs it was just like pointless to buy them like i said i don't cook them so i damn sure wasn't buying them back then i was like Tuh, no mm -mm, i'm good i don't need eggs i'm good Anyway, so um yeah, I got the eggs for 49 cents. Um I got this deviled egg potato salad for 249. It's really good. Um I think I seen this the first time I ever seen this, not this specific product, but was it was at Giant Eagle. And I said, like, that sounds interesting. And, that's, and it was really good too. It was a little bit higher priced. I think it was like three ninety nine or something a pound. This whole thing was like what two forty nine. It's a pound package. And it's just enough for me because I have hot dogs in there. So I can eat the hot dogs up now that I had this or whatever. But like I said, it was just one of those things. When I looked at the sale ad and I seen that they still have it, I was like, okay, I got to get that. You know what I mean? Even though it wasn't on my list. Um, I also got some pizzas. I've been craving pizzas for the longest time. And I just haven't been food shopping because I've been eating what I have. So pizza was like right there on my list of things to buy. It was like an impulse buy though at the last minute. I was like, dang, I forgot they got pizzas here. So I bought two of these. These are really good. They're three meat pizzas. Um, they're really good. They have a lot of meaty toppings or whatever. Um, when I see when I go to get the frozen pizzas, the rising crust pizzas, which are my like favorite. I don't like thin crust. I just the it's just too hard and crunchy and I, I, I just can't. This I like this fluffier crust. Um, this isn't stuffed crust or whatever, but it's a rising crust and the ingredients make up for it. It's meats, it's cheeses, it's sauces. It's really good quality. 
Um, it was only like two. It was less than three dollars a piece, like two sixty nine or something like that. So that's a really good price for the three meats, because the pepperoni costs that much. You know what I mean? So why not get more toppings for the same price? Um, and then I also got two of these dons. Um, I'm not like a kind of sewer when it comes to dish detergent, but I just some I, my preferences have really grown. I used to buy like the cheap stuff like Ajax or, you know, like this dollar store brand, which is good. You just have to use a lot of it. And I just got tired of doing that. So I try to buy like the biggest, most economical, most uh, highest quality stuff I can get. This was like two sixty nine or two ninety nine or something like that, which is a good price because when I see it at my job, it's like three sixty nine before tax, which is decent if you needed one bottle and you were there. But this is almost a dollar less, so I had to get two of them because this one I've had for a long time. I got this from Dio's, which was like a dollar store um, company or whatever. They went out of business like last year or whatever and just became a dollar store. But this is one of the things I got from there. I think it was Dio's. It might have been Family Dollar. I'm not sure. Anyway, but this is, yeah, I've, I've had this in the bottom of my cabinet because I was using like Dawn and other stuff. So I decided to use this instead of keep instead of buying whatever I had. You know what I mean? So that's getting low. So now I have dish detergent. I don't have to worry about it for a long time or whatever because this stuff really good. It's really good. Um Yeah. It's just one of those things where I just don't wanna um I don't know, I can't really think of the word right now. Anyway, I also got some of the over here I got some of the these are the stuffed crust pizzas. So it's the same thing as this, only it's pepperoni and stuffed crust or whatever. Um, which I love stuffed crust pizza. It's just hard to find it outside of Giorno. And the Giorno stuffed crust pizza is like $9, even at Walmart, or like $8, which is my price is like 7 or $8, maybe 9 rarely for us a, a Giorno pizza or whatever. So this is an Audi brand. They have their own brand of stuffed crust pizza, and this is only like maybe what five. It was less than six dollars a piece. So you got two, less than three dollars, less than six dollars for stuffed crust. Like that's a bargain. So I got two of them, or whatever. Like I said, I've been craving pizza, and yeah, I got my pizza fix out the way. Um, I got another bag of tops, potato, uh, potato puffs, or whatever. These are already seasoned. I love uh, all these brands of potatoes frozen potatoes they're really good quality most of the time they're seasoned even the ones that aren't seasoned the crinkle cut regular ones um they're really still good whatever you can put them in the oven and they still come out with flavor and crispiness as opposed to just bland you know what i mean they're really good um i like to get these kind though because i like tots i'm just a fat person <laughs> anyway um and i also got for the wings i said well i want some pizza let me go and get some wings. So I found these uh, honey barbecue flavored chicken wings. These are bone in, I believe. Um, they were five ninety nine a piece, and I was looking for something honey barbecue flavored, but I couldn't find the boneless boneless wings or whatever. And I said, well, since I'm doing you know the whole better quality thing, let me go ahead and get the chicken wings or whatever. They're fully cooked or whatever. So that's that. So now I got me chicken wings or whatever. I figure you know. A little bit out of each bag for each pizza, you know. I'm trying to make this last for the four pizzas instead of buying like four bags of wings, cause they is six dollars a bag. So yeah, but they're pretty full. Well, they're they're up to here, so they're you know they feel like they look like they feel like wing dings or drum mats or whatever you call that thing. Anyway, um, and they're already coated, so I ain't gotta worry about dipping them in barbecue sauce and nothing like that. Um, these were a dollar sixty-five. That's a good price. Um. I also got me some salmon. I would like to keep fish around the house when I can. So if I want something healthy and I want to cook something, I normally don't buy salmon, but like I usually buy tilapia. And I say, you know what? Why well, I got the money? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to do a little something extra. So I got this wild caught pink salmon. It's a two pound bag. I believe this was like seven sixty nine, which is an okay price. You know what I mean? I mean it's salmon. You know what I mean? It's skin on. Boneless, individually wrapped, all that good stuff. I like salmon the few times that I've had it, so I figured why not go and cook it myself, you know what I mean? Who knows, I might like it and it'll become a new thing in my house. Um, I think that's it for this one. I have some more stuff that's like not refrigerated and I couldn't fit it all up here, so I'm gonna do like come back and record the rest of this stuff for you guys. I just wanna put the stuff away so it don't like spoil or whatever. 
So I will be back with you guys in one second. Okay, I'm back, you guys. So I put all the cold stuff away, and this is like the other stuff that I had in bags. The other stuff that was cold, I somehow managed to get it all in uh, my other bag. I have this like little, um, like bag that has like the little swiveling wheels, like that's going in a circle. I forget what they call them exactly. Um, I actually got that from Aldi's too. Matter of fact, I have it over here. Um, this thing right here. It kind of already tore up because the first day I bought it, or the first time I used it, the little part um, right here split. And I tried to like glue it back together, but the glue didn't really stay or bind it. So, but it still works or whatever. It's nice. It was fourteen ninety nine, I believe. It was less than twenty. Okay, when I bought it. And I think they still sell these, surprisingly. So they must be selling really good because everybody has them now. And I live in a high-rise building, which is like 13 floors. And I live on a 12th floor. Um, but I have it because outside, coming from the bus stop, is a bunch of stairs. Um, I probably showed you guys that before. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, I'm lying. I am. <laughs> I am. I just can't. It just feels so incomplete. Um... Here, hold on, let me open this for you guys. I have my air on because it is hot. Summertime, it's just starting to kick in. It is June, like, what? What is today's date? Today's June the 22nd. So I guess technically summer did start today. And it started getting hot and humid a few days ago. So it went from, like, downpouring rain, like, every day to, like, humidity. And, yeah. So it'd be, like, 70 degrees. But humid as fuck, so like it feels like 90. Or oh, how is weather just so backwards? Anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys these stairs real quick that I have to freaking endure every time I.